going on guys? Cool Tony here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at diecast from 2019 and 2020. Yes, this is another diecast review video. It is amazing. Let's stop the intro. Let's just fire right off into this video. We have amazing paint schemes and uh, trucks, cars, and whatever else to look at here. Um, quite a good selection, I think. But we've got to get the bug out of the way first. And you can probably see the bug. It's the green car. Uh, yeah. Let's let let let's look at this one now, shall we? Let let's take a look at wh why it's a bug. Do you see the nose? Do, do we see the nose? What did Lionel do that just said, "Oh, we'll just put on half of the bumper or half of the top grill"? What? Yes. It came like this. It did. And it's awful. Why? I, it was already too late. I had opened it already or else I would have taken it back. Why? How How do you do that? And and not say, oh, we should probably fix that. Yeah, why well, not? That needs fixed. What? Please let me know down in the comments below if you've seen another car do that. Because that's, yeah. But anyways, let's take a look at the half-ass Chevy Camaro nose that Lionel did. Love that. Got Alsco uh, right there. Pretty cool. It's a green car. It is the championship Xfinity car, although the actual car that he won the championship, or the actual championship scheme that he won in, I have, and it's not the championship version. They made this one that way. Got Alsco there, though. A um, couple other sponsors here and there. Good looking car, though. I love the paint scheme. It looks really, really nice, um, other than the flaw that we all know now. On the roof, though, it does say NASCAR Xfinity Series Champion. So, it is the championship car. You got Alsco on the back bumper. And Alsco on the deck lid. And you do have the other side. Again, not a raced version. Just the normal Alsco uh, paint scheme with the championship sticker on the roof. Kind of weird that they do this. I think they should just make the uh, raced version if they're going to make it and not make this. But, line out is clearly too cheap that they can't even put on the rest of the decal. So that's great. We're, on a, we're off to a great start. Now let's actually take a look at the championship car that he ran. There it is. This is the car that he won the championship in, the uh, Kill Switch Engage car, which is kind of cool. Love the skull here. Love the graphics and design. Love the little like paint type thing here. Oh, it's like a lion type thing. It's pretty cool. You got gimme radio.com, uh, Pinnacle, Ausco, Team Beast right there. Very, very nice. I'm pretty sure this is the scheme you want in. I, I'm pretty sure it is. I know it says round of 12, but I'm. I'm oh, this is actually a. Uh, really? I didn't even notice that. It was the playoff car because all the red kind of matched. I didn't know it was a playoff car until I saw 12. Wow. Crazy. You got to gimme radio.com on the deck lid. You got gimme radio on the uh, deck lid. I said, I meant back bumper there, deck lid. And then you got gimme radio.com on the roof with the red two or the white two. It's not red, it's a red roof. And then the other side. And yes, this one actually does have the full Camaro nose. Like, how are you going to tell me that they look the same? Good lord, Lionel. Messing up everything. Alright, we're going to take a look at the final Xfinity car in this diecast review, though. Or, not the final, actually. I just saw another one. But this is Dale Jr.'s Hellman's car from uh, Miami. He only ran this once. So, yeah, you got Hellman's uh, right there on the yellow banana uh, hood. You got It's just an all-yellow car. You got Hellman's, Goodies, Brandt, Klondike, Suave. Alsco, American Flag, Exalta, all the normal JR or Junior Motorsports um, stuff. You do have a little bow tie kind of wrapping or come, kind of shooting out right there. Kind of weird, kind of awkward, but I guess that's all they got. You got Hellman's on the deck lid or on the back bumper. You got Junior Motorsports on the deck lid and three Hellman's logos on the roof with the blue eight. And of course, you do have the other side. A very basic paint scheme. Maybe the last car that Junior will drive. Very sad. I don't know if he's going to be driving in 2021. I hope he does. 
But if not, this is a pretty good car to go out on, I guess. Again, very plain. Um, probably the plainest paint scheme he's ran. But it still was cool to see. And you definitely couldn't miss it on the track. Alright, moving on from that. We're going to take a look at Kyle Larson's Darlington throwback from 2019. Um, eh, this one's kind of meh. Wasn't released in Authentics. Oh, no, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I'm an idiot. Uh, this is an Authentics car. But anyway, you got Clover there with the blue. Kind of weird. It's green, actually. Greenish color there. Um, very weird color. You got the dark green, the light green, and the uh, orange. I don't know. This one's all right. At Credit One Bank, Clover, McDonald's. Big old orange 42 right there. Again, that scheme's all right. You know, you got Clover on the back bumper. Uh, kind of looks like, yeah, they messed up the uh, orange. That's kind of weird. Okay, nothing on the deck lid. You got Clover on the roof. Again, there's the beautiful orange 42. And the other side. Not a bad looking throwback, but it's meh. It's meh. And no, mixed feelings, I guess. We're going to go ahead and move on. And we're going to move on to Austin Dillon's Bass Pro Shops throwback to Dale Sr., this ran at the 2019, I think it was the Duels or the Clash. It was one of the two. I know it wasn't the 500. He ran an all-gold car. But yes, this is another Dale Sr. throwback for the 50th anniversary of Richard Childress Racing. So right away, you've got Bass Pro Shops uh, right there. BassPro.com on the bottom. Kind of weird. It is the black all the way across. And then the gold, um, you got... Triple A Insurance, Cessna, Bass Pro, Tracker, ATVs, and Boats. You got Dow and American Ethanol right there. You got Realtree right there. You got the red number three right there. Very nice looking car. I don't have his gold car next to me. Yeah, I do. Never mind, I do. Hold on. Gotta reach him. But, uh, yeah, very nice. We'll take a look at the other two here in a minute. You do have tracker, ATV boats on the back bumper. You got tracker boats on the deck lid and BassPro.com on the roof with the beautiful red number three. And you do have the other side of this beautiful gold die cast right next to this die cast lies. His other gold die cast. There you can see it's basically the same paint scheme, but this has the black over it and Bass Pro Shops. And to add a third one, why don't we add Daniel Hemrick's gold uh, die cast to this as well? So there is your trio of gold die cast from 2019. Absolutely beautiful. Good looking set. Um, I would definitely recommend getting all of them. Two released in Authentics. The other one was just a gold release, which is perfectly fine. But yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on with a truck this is natalie Rackerdecker and her number 54 uh, n29 toyota tundra for what was this dgr crossley i'm pretty sure you got n29 technologies right there big back supporter to natalie decker you have just all white basically there you got the number 54 and 29 technologies right there uh series XM right there. Uh, TRD, all the normal sponsors there. Good looking uh, race truck for sure when it wasn't wrecked. Um, it's a fabulous looking paint scheme, I think. It's basic, but kind of cool. I'm um, not really sure what that's all about, though. That's kind of random, but whatever. You got Power Products right there. Oh, Yamaha Power Products. I'm sorry, I didn't even see Yamaha. Rookie Stripes, of course, she is a rookie, or was. I was right, it was DGR Crossley. Toyota right there on the bed, uh, bed number 54 on the roof and you do have the other side of the race truck right there very nice looking truck for Natalie Decker I do like it I'm not trying to hate on her I actually was a fan for a while until I realized how kind of rushed she was getting and that's just really hurting her truck performance I think she needed a few more years down in uh, uh, what was it Arca but whatever. We're going to go ahead and move on. That won't be the end of Natalie Decker. That's for sure. 
The next tr uh, car we're going to look at is a race win. This is Alex Bowman's first win at Chicagoland where he had this fabulous battle with another one of my favorite drivers, Kyle Larson. Alex Bowman definitely proving that he deserved this win. Look at all the dirt on the grill along with tons of confetti. This thing is caked with confetti. Look at that Exalta logo. Absolutely caked in confetti. Can't even see all the dirt. There's this side. He's got a little bit of uh, scuff. Got Nationwide there, Exalta, Lumar. And again, just the confetti on the Exalta logo is amazing. Seems like Exalta was just hit with confetti. Um, yeah. Then you got back here, you got Exalta coating systems and Valvoline. Not really a lot of damage. Maybe a little wrinkle there, but not too much. You got Nationwide is on your side on the deck lid with more confetti. I'm pretty sure that's Exalta coating systems under there. But again, Exalta coated with confetti along with the 88 just caked in confetti. Not as bad as the Exalta logo, but it's pretty good, pretty good. And of course you do have the other side where they did make a little bit of content. Got a little bit of scuff marks there, here and there. But uh, again, what a win for uh, Bowman the Showman. We love it. Um, the diecast looks amazing. And um, the race was fantastic. It was a fantastic finish. I didn't care who won. And I'm glad Alex Bowman snagged the win, got his first win, and uh, has a win now in 2020 as well. All right, the last 2019 truck we're going to look at is Brett Moffitt's Plan B Sales truck. This is the first of two. I know he has another one. It's kind of patriotic. That will uh, be reviewed here on the channel soon. But for now, this is his normal. You got Plan B right there on the white uh, roof or hood. You got this beautiful kind of faded liquidy blue behind the white 24 you got plan b sales.com and that's really all for sponsorship for brett moffitt um but yeah I, I love this blue looks fantastic it really does you got plan b sales right there on the silver tailgate love that i think the grayish silver actually looks pretty darn good um yeah i i think that looks pretty good you got ism connect Right there, Chevy. Plan B sales on both sides of the um, the little plastic pillars here. Got the big old orange 24 right there with something on it. Will that come off? Is that a paint chip? or I'm thinking that's a paint chip. That's unfortunate on the two. And, of course, you do have the other side of the truck. Beautiful looking truck. We did take a look at another uh, one before so there is the 20 uh, 20 version versus the 2019 if you wanted any plan B comparison at all they don't look anywhere close to each other but still pretty cool all right we have two more cars to look at here and I get these sorted out I've got to put these away the next and final Xfinity car we will take a look at for a while is Noah Gregson's Lionel Racing uh, Camaro from the Xfinity series. Uh, yeah, you knew Lionel was going to produce their own car after he ran it, so that's kind of cool. You've got Lionel Racing right here. This is not a promo. He did run this. Got Lionel Racing right there. Got tons of black and blue, or black and blue, black and uh, red. Got the big old red nine there with interesting design. You've got uh, the old Lionel logo right there, RCCA. Um, NASCAR Authentics, that's cool. Brant, Exalta. Kind of cool to see a Lionel diecast um, like this and not be a promo. Like, this was an actual paint scheme. I, I think that's really cool. Um, you got driven by diecast, one of their promotions that they do. Um, pretty cool. You got Lionel Racing right there and on the roof. And, of course, you do have the other side. Beautiful car. Um, not much to write home. It is just the Lionel diecast. Of course, I forgot one. I just found it a little while ago. So we're actually, before the last truck, going to take a look at Morton Truex Jr.'s uh, Sonoma win. I'm not really sure why they added this one. It wasn't that exciting. He won by what, like 10 seconds maybe? But still, it's a good looking car, I guess, to uh, take a look at here. Um, you can see it is pretty much cooked with confetti. You got the uh, Bass Pro Shops logo there, pretty covered up in confetti. 
The front nose as well, pretty dirty, covered in confetti. You got tracker, ATVs, and boats, Bass Pro Shops there. Again, more confetti. Um, it's just basic Bass Pro Shops car though. You see, not a lot to write home about though for a race win. A little bit of dirt maybe on the back, a little bit of confetti. You got uh, tracker, ATVs, and boats there. You got Cabela's there, pretty cooked in confetti. You got the old 19 with BassPro.com. Um, pretty covered in confetti, I'd say. And then, of course, you have the other side. Again, coated with lots of confetti. More than uh, that side, for sure. But again, I don't really know why they added this die cast uh, into the Wave lineup. But I guess it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, whatever. You know, another Sonoma. The second Sonoma win, maybe just trying to keep the streak of Sonoma wins going in the Wave, I guess. Um, I don't know. I don't really know, but yeah, this was a wave car, so I kind of forgot. I'm not really doing a wave review here, but um, yeah, it, it's still a very nice looking car. All right, now on to the last truck. This is, whoops, wow, Natalie Decker's number 44 N29 Technologies a Nice Motorsports pickup truck. As you can see, she was for DJR Crossley uh, last year. But yeah, you guys saw that truck, and here is the other one for her. You got N29 Technologies with the white hood. Uh, of course, number 44 this year, not number 54. You got N29 Technologies there, um, Mobile One. That's about it. You got the 44. A little bit of a plain design here. You got some red. You got some blue. I'm not really sure what the blue's for. I don't think this is in the... There's blue around the 44 too so yeah I don't really know on the tailgate you got N29 Technologies and uh, what does that say Far Out Toys that's cool you got Chevrolet N29 there of course you have the number 44 on the roof and of course you have the other side of this decent looking pickup truck and of course the comparison in the same video there is the other Natalie Decker truck, as you can see, a Toyota and a Chevy. Both decent looking. Um, I think the 44 uh, scheme is a little more plain, but I don't know. It doesn't look all crazy like the 54. Like the 54 just has like this weird lines like kind of coming out of nowhere. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. But either way, they're both decent looking, but. Yeah, guys, with that being said, that is officially the end of the review. I'm trying to figure out which cars I actually want to sit in front. Imagine, I'm gonna, this is gonna make a lot of people mad, but I'm gonna do both of the Natalie Deckers. People are gonna be so mad about that because they're probably two of the worst ones in here. I mean, the, the truck and paint scheme wise are not bad, but I know people do not like Natalie Decker. Or they just like making fun of her. Maybe they don't dislike her, they just like making fun of her, but, um, it's pretty much her fault, she does wreck a lot of race cars, so, yeah, but anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it was kind of, uh, here and there, you know, I was interrupted, actually, a lot during this video, um, I'm not very happy about that, so, it seems like it was kind of cut a lot, because it was. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Let me know what diecast was your favorite down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next diecast review video. Peace out.